Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you a very simple way to memorize the steps of mitosis. So um, mitosis is the process where the nucleus divides in a eukaryotic cell. And note that mitosis is different from meiosis, um, where mitosis occurs in somatic cells, whereas meiosis occurs in germ cells. Uh, mitosis involves one cell division, whereas in meiosis, it involves two. And mitosis results in two diploid daughter cells that are genetically identical. So before entering the mitotic phase, the cell is an interphase. The first phase of interphase is this G1 phase. And this is where the cell starts duplication of organelles and cytosolic components and starts replicating centrosomes. The cell then enters the S phase, and this is where DNA is replicated. After DNA replication, the cell enters the G2 phase of interphase, and this is where cell growth continues, and enzymes and other proteins are synthesized, and the replication of centrosomes is also completed. After the G2 portion of interphase, the cell enters prophase. The duplicated chromosomes condense and become thousands of times more compact. Sister chromatids are joined together at the centromere and can be seen as X-shaped. DNA binding proteins such as cohesin and condesin help with the condensation process. Finally, the mitotic spindle also begins to form during prophase. The next step is prometaphase, where the nuclear envelope breaks down. Microtubules grow outwards from the centrosomes and eventually connects with the chromosomes at its kinetochore. At least one microtubule from each pole attaches to the kinetochore of each chromosome. Next comes metaphase. Chromosomes line up along the cell equator and the chromosomes no longer move back and forth. Next is anaphase. Sister chromatids separate and move to opposite poles of the cell. Each chromatid is now its own chromosome and are drawn to opposite poles of the cell through mechanisms such as microtubule shortening. In telophase, the chromosomes are at the cell poles and the mitotic spindle disappears. The new clear membrane assembles around each set of the chromosomes, separating the DNA from the cytoplasm. Finally, there's cytokinesis, which is just the final process of splitting the parent cell into two daughter cells. The cell membrane pinches at the equator, creating the cleavage furrow. Here, I have listed out every phase of the cell cycle that we have discussed. Now, if you look at the first letters of the steps, you get IPPMATC. A simple trick to remembering this is simply, I pay prostitutes money at the corner. Again, that's I pay prostitutes money at the corner. Trust me, don't try to memorize whatever acronym your teacher tells you. You're going to forget that within a week. Never forget this acronym for your exams. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a good day.